So, hello guys, this is the quick start tutorial for Kogi 1.0. Let me show you how to play a movie file with it. First, uh, go to the interface menu and create a new clip scene. Yeah, here we go. Now, uh, there is a footage folder in the Kogi folder which has some uh, free materials to use. So we will play back a um, movie loop created by Beeple. Oh, this will be good. Uh, to load it, just drag and drop to make this load. Here we go. So we just loaded a uh, media file to make this load. And now we have to load a player module which can ha handle these. This is a movie file, so we we have to select a movie player. This super player will be good. Uh, with this button, we can turn it on and voila, it plays as well. So now we create a new effect chain. We will turn it on on the clip end, and now with simple right click we can load effects to the FX chain. First we first we'll uh, load this chromosome from tone burst. We will turn it on and voila, here we go. Now, load another one, maybe Bush, turn it on this too, and voila, that's, that's all. Every slider can be automated by right-clicking right on it, select an automation model, for example, an LFO, like this. And here we go. So here is our master mixer. Here on the on the left side here is our output selector. And this stripped area for loading mixers. A mixer can be loaded by right clicking on this area and select a um, model like this all. Now the second image is our uh, B channel and the simple output selector is the A channel. Now if we turn on this this of transition we can basically fade between these two channels. You can load more than one mixer module at a time and it it works like it will work like a chain. So if we load another transition like this bar swipe bar swipe the channel A will be the output of this this of transition and the channel B will be our selected second image. So now turn on this bar swipe and here we go.